Hi, Anita. Good night. How are you, Anita? I cannot hear you. Turn your microphone off. Turn it on. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, good now night. it's much better. Good night, Anita. How are night. you? Good night. Hi, how are you? Pretty, pretty good because I already uh, drank my cup of coffee. <laughs> so I'm happy because of that. I do have energy. Yeah. And um, I also feel sleepy, <laughs> maybe. Yes. Yeah. It's because of the weather, right? In your, um, at your home has been like uh, raining or I don't know if it's cold. Yeah. Uh, here is very cold. Very cold. Wow. Yes. That's amazing. I wear, I wear a, a sweater. Are you wearing a sweater? Oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. It was uh, very cold. Oh my God. Yeah. Cup, a cup of coffee would be nice, uh, right? Uh, or a cup of tea. And there? It is cold. You cannot imagine. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. And yeah. I love it. I love it. Yes, I like. I like. You know too. what? What is the problem that when it is cold, you don't want to take a shower, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and that's true but you had to take a shower all right yeah well one alternative that you might have is like you have uh you can um you, you can put some water on the spot right and boil it right mm, i don't know i i not i i use the cold water oh no Yes. Oh no. What do you think guys? We were discussing with Anita. What's the weather like? What's the weather like where you are right now? Is it cold? Is it hot? How's the weather like? Very cold. Really? Yeah. You're drinking coffee? Yes. Ah, but is coffee with creamy? Uh, with milk. Ah, with milk. Yeah, you yeah. know what? I have finished my coffee already too. <laughs> and my <laughs> lipstick is there, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But my one was with creamy. 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 You know what creamy is? Yes. Yeah. You know that Anita Cremora? Creamy? Yep. Yeah, so I it's because it's really cold, right? That definitely uh, it comes really fabulous a cup of coffee, right? Yeah. You know what? We're Causing with Anita, guys, <laughs> that when when the weather is like that, <laughs> you don't want to take a shower. <laughs> That's true. But you have to take a shower, right? If not, like, mm, no way. So you need to take a shower. But one alternative that you may have is that um, you can, like, put some water on a spot, right, and boil it. Yeah? You can boil it and you can mix it it. That would be one of the alternatives. Basically, that's what I did today. <laughs> and I put so, uh, some uh, um, eucalypto. And what is the other one? What is that? The, guys, do you remember that when we were like little young and we have a chicken pot? You know what chicken pot is? Chicken pot? Yeah? Um, how do you say that in Spanish, Humberto? Chicken pot. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, they used to like... Uh, my mom, I, I think my mom used to like take a, give me a shower with cypress, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so my my mother-in-law uh, uh, sent me like uh, cypress with eucalypto, right? So what I did mm. is like put like a spot, right? And boil the water and put some mix of the herbs, right? So it could be like in a spa. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but you know what? It helps me a lot because uh, the problem is, it's not that I don't want to take a shower, but I do have sinus problems. So I need to take care about myself. And that helps me a lot because it's relaxed. And at the same time, it helps me with, the, with my nose because I need to wash my hair today. Today was the time that I had to wash my hair. So I had to take a shower. Okay. Yes. Whiskey, no. Whiskey will take a shower until Saturday. As well, chestnut. Ah. Yes. But me, no. Imagine. <sighs> Oof. 
You know what? And, and, and when I talked to my sister today also in Costa Rica, we sent her the message today. <laughs> my sister and my niece, they said, I don't want to take a shower either. <laughs> so, but they, they took a shower at the end, yeah. What do you think, guys? Is it hard for you, Umberto, to take a shower when it's a cold weather? Or you, Carlitos? Or you, Mari? Olguita? Is it hard for you to take a shower? Or no? Or you have electric shower? I want teacher. You want, <laughs> but you don't you don't I have don't to have. don't have I don't have. What about you, Umberto? In my case, uh, I yeah. have an electric shower. Oh come on. That, that would but, be nice, right? <laughs> and I and I used to use the, the electric shower day by day, but in this day, for example, I, I used it. Yes, of course, because of the weather condition. Yeah. Yeah, of course, but you know what? The cold shower, what it helps us is that we need to wake up, right? To start working. But with the hot shower, I don't know if that makes you feel more relaxed than in my case. I've been sleeping the whole afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you imagine? So that is one of the benefits of what it can say about cold shower versus the hot shower. Yeah. What about you, uh, Helen Mercedes, Olguita, and Mari? What about you? I want to listen to you, girls. Hello. Oh, my God. I made it there. Okay, Hello. very good. Hello, Helen. Sorry, I, I connect just a couple of seconds ago. Uh, a couple I, of I seconds ago, yes. <laughs> yeah. No, we're discussing what about. Are you talking? We're talking. Hey, guys, what are we talking about? Sorry. Okay. The weather. The weather condition. How's the weather oh. like where you are right now? Here in San Miguel, it's a little bit cold. Really? really delicious. Yes. It's in really delicious. San Miguel is cold. Yeah. Wow, that is amazing. Bit. Okay, yes. so we were discussing that everybody's uh, weather right now, where, where, they are, where they live right now, is really cold. So we were discussing that when, there are, when we have a cold weather, it's really hard to take a shower. What do you think? It's really hard. It happens really? to me every morning. So. Really? Oh my God, but I'm at the end you have to take morning. a shower, right? Yeah, I have to. You have, have yes. to. And you prefer cold water or hot water? Um, the middle. Oh, the middle. Water. All right. Yeah. Oh wow. Not too cold, not too hot. Not too cold, not too hot. Okay. Very good. Yes. That's nice. What about Olgita? <laughs> Thank you, Helen. What about you, Olgita? Okay. Hello. Hello. Do you prefer hot or cold water? Mm. When it, when the weather is hot, I prefer uh, cold water. Of course. But in this uh, in this uh, situation, with mm -hmm. the with the weather very cold, um, for me it's too hard in the morning to take a shower. Uh, you see, guys, everybody is really hard to take a shower <laughs> right in the morning. I know that. Especially when you have to go out, right? But for some of us that has yes. been there, we can work from home. <laughs> that is one of our yes. advantages. <laughs> yeah. Principalmente por el cabello. Uh, because of the hair. Because the wet, yes. Because you, ha you have a wet hair. Mm -hmm. For me, it's not good because I have a allergic to. Oh, so you have a sign of problems. Yes. Ah, okay, yes. You're right mm -hmm. about that. You think you have to think two or twice, right? Because when the weather mm -hmm. is like that, it's really hard that your hair got dry, right? Mm -hmm. Faster. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I understand that perfectly. <laughs> Very good. Hey, guys, we have Patty here that he joined today's class and also, yes, Mr. Jose Ramirez. That's great. How you feel, Jose? Do you feel much better today? Yes, I, I feel better. Yes? What I happened with the headache? Better. That disappeared? Yes, it disappeared. But it's about the, the, a lot of work from during the week, I think. Yeah. I have to start too. And... Oh, 
Yeah. So maybe you were under too much pressure, right? Yeah. Stressful, maybe. Yes. Yeah, you you look serious and tired, and this is not that Jose that I used to uh, to see every single class. Yeah. So like mm, something happens again. But do you feel much better than yesterday? Yeah, I feel better. That's so happy. Yeah, and you know what? That shows Thank in you. your facial expression. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Hey, guys, it, yeah, even though we do not say anything, but is it true or not that with our face, we can communicate something? Yeah? What do you think? Yes. With your eyes, right? With your expression? With your, like, for example, when you don't understand something that I'm explaining to you, everybody's like, or you're like, or you're like, and Umberto is like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you know what? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I, I detect guys when you don't know, for example, and Patty is like, she's like that. I, Maria Corinne, I cannot see her because she just has the, the picture. But yeah, everybody has a, their own expressions. So when you don't understand, I can get it. Yes. And Umberto is like this. Yes, <laughs> especially because I'm a journalist, so I cannot, I, I can detect that, that, that unverbal communication. <laughs> hey, guys, we learned a lot of things yesterday, right, about Android requests. Did you do your homework? Sorry, my work. Yeah, that's okay, Maria Colindra. I understand that. Don't worry, okay? Okay. Thank you. Uh-huh. Did you do your homework? Yes, yes or no? Finally. Okay, let's double check it. Okay? Yes, I do. Yeah, that's the boys and girls that I love. All righty. Okay, so let's double check your homework. What was the homework, by the way? <laughs> we were like eight sentences, right, guys? Yes. Eight sentences yes. that we need to rewrite it as indirect requests and... In other words, guys, we ask someone to deliver the message for you. Okay. Okay. So who's going to be the first victim? Sorry, <clears throat> the first participant. <laughs> May I apologize. Carlitos. I knew it. You said, I knew it. the teacher's going to ask me the first one. I'm sorry, Carlitos. Yeah, Carlitos. <laughs> hey, the, the regular one, the direct one, hey, read it for me, Jose. Read it for me the sentence, because Carlitos had to say that in an indirect way. Number one, read it for me. Nina, would you drive us to the party on Friday? Oh, come on, with like, Nina, more, with, with more passion, you know? Go ahead, okay. Carlitos, you can do it. Okay, okay. Nina, will you drive us to the party on Friday? Very good, excellent. Okay, Carlitos, how can you convert that into an indirect question? Okay. Uh, could you could you tell Nina uh, mm -hmm. that that drive us to the party on Friday? Could you tell the Nina that drive us? Uh-huh. The drive us or to drive us? To, to drive us to the party on Friday. Very good. Okay. Tell me again, but with more confidence. You can do it. Okay. Could you, could you tell Nina uh, to drive us to the party on Friday? Uh-huh. Okay. Now do me a favor. Use exactly the same question, but choose one of your classmates, girl classmates, and and use her name, please. Uh, and, and 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 do it and tell to Jose, please. Uh, Jose, could you tell? Could you tell Nina? No, uh, could you tell no? Could you tell Patty? Could you tell Anita? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Algita, oh. Wendy, anybody? Yes. Uh, um, Patty. No, no, no. Uh, uh, Carlitos. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Carlitos, sorry. you gotta tell Jose that tell Patty something, okay? Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Jose, could you tell could you tell Nina Patty. to drive? Oh, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Patty's like, okay, okay, you can do it, Carlitos. One more time. Hey, Jose, uh, could you tell Patty yes. to drive us 
to party on Friday? Uh, okay, Jose, answer him, please. Answer to him. Yes, okay, I, I could. Okay, so tell Patty. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh -huh, you see? Uh -huh. we're, we're practicing the speaking, guys. Come on. Patty. <laughs> Carlito says, if, we, <laughs> if you could try to drive us to the party on Friday. Yay. Aha, uh -huh. what would be the answer? Are you agree or disagree? Do you like that? Oh, really? It's uh, very good. Uh, so you, okay, so she's agree, guys. Woohoo! So you have a ride for Friday. Excellent we will, job. We, we will go to the party. Yeah, you will go to Umberto's party. <laughs> Everybody said that it would be really fun, you know? Great music, a lot of food, yeah, a lot of beverages, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. No, I mean Coca-Cola, lemonade, and something like that, right? <laughs> and appetizers. Oh, that would be fantastic. All righty. And do you remember that you can ask a favor, right? To, you can ask any favor to him. Don't forget that. <laughs> All righty. Very good. Hey, that was nice, guys. Excellent. Okay. Ah, talking about that. Okay. Uh, Jose. Yes? You need to ask uh, to Olguita, the second one. Use her name instead of Tony. Okay. I know, I'm, I'm going to say it, okay? I'm going to say it. Olguita, do me a favor, Olguita. Yes, teacher. Can you please read like the way it is, uh, uh, sentence number two, please? Like the way it is right now. Tony, how many friends can I bring to your party? Very good. Okay, now convert it into a, a indirect request, Jose. Okay. I have to ask some, Umberto. Some one more. Umberto. Umberto, okay. Umberto, could you are going to the party with Jess? Yes. Ah. No, 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 it's number two. Number two, okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Umberto, I don't know, is could you? I don't know. Could you how many friends? Uh, uh, you, you, could no. you ask? Uh -huh. uh, could you ask? Uh -uh. Tony, how many friends can I bring to your party? Aha, uh -huh. are you sure? Evalu oh. Evaluate the sentence. The sentence is Tony. Okay, so you're asking somebody, right? Tony, how many friends can I bring to your party? You're asking to Tony. Yeah, so it's exactly the same that you were saying, Umberto, okay? Could you let me know, could you tell me how many um, friends can I bring to your party? So if you can do it, you can do it. Umberto, could you let me know how many friends can I bring to your party? Okay, Umberto, ask, answer please. But, but you know what, Jose? Do it again, but with question and intonation. Ay, teacher, yes, I know. Okay, no problem. Umberto, could you let me know how many friends can I bring to your party? Uh huh. Umberto, answer Jose. You can bring you can bring all your friends at my Thank party. You so much. You see, <laughs> as many friends as you want to do. That's no problem for me, dude. That's good. You know what? That's okay. great. That's great having a body like that, right? Yeah. All the, all the class group. All the class. So everybody will to go the to the Uber's party. Parties. That would be amazing. <laughs> Including the pets. <laughs> yeah. Or the pets are not allowed, Umberto. Yeah. The pets are you allowed. Can bring your cat, for example. Hey, yeah. you know what? I uh, for for whiskey and chestnut, they have the 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 bow tie. You know what bow tie is? Yeah, they do have already the bow tie. Yeah, so they they will look so, and they're red bow tie. You know. Yeah, so they look fabulous, really handsome. <laughs> what I need to look for is for Marie. 
maybe a beautiful dress for her, that would be amazing. <laughs> they will look uh, better than me. <laughs> ah, come on, Jose, no. <laughs> I can bring a tie for you, okay? Don't worry, my husband has a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, what is your favorite color, by the way? Mine. Yes, your it's favorite green. color. Which, which one? Green. Green? Oh. Yeah. I think he has one of them, so I can bring a green tie for you. <laughs> Very Thank good. You. You're welcome. Okay. Um, Olguita, now is your turn. Ay. Yes. Okay. Ay, why? Be number three. Yes, because you, why? <laughs> Come on, guys, why? Because we need to practice. Okay. And we're going to use uh, people's class names, okay? So, Olguita says, Sofia, are you going to the party with Jeff? Okay, you can ask Patty. Patty, are you going to the party with Jose, for example? I don't know. Okay. Uh, wait, no, wait, 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 but wait, Patty. Uh, uh, Olguita is going, is going to transform this sentence into an indirect request. Okay, um, could you tell me, um, Patty, if you are going to the party with Jose, with Humberto, with Carlos. <laughs> oh my goodness, with Jose, with Humberto, my God. With, Na, with Anita. Yeah. With Anita. With Neftali. Neftali. Uh -huh. So answer party, are you going to the party with Jose, Humberto, Neftali? No, uh -huh. are you going with them or are you going alone? <laughs> uh, I think hello. She's uh -huh. She's going with her husband, guys. So don't, I'm sorry for you. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay. Very good. Excellent. Yeah. Now, Patty, it's your turn. I <laughs> number four. Hey, hey Olguita, re read it for me, number four, please. The way that it is. Okay. Okay. Kevin, did you accept the invitation to Tony's party? Okay, very good. Olguita, you got, Olguita. Sorry, Olguita. No, no, no. Don't worry. Don't worry. You will have a heart attack. No. Okay. Going, yes. Okay, Patty, now it's your turn. Transform that sentence, but you can ask Adela. You can use Adela's name. Adela. Adela. Uh -huh. Did you accept the invitation to Humberto's party, for example? I don't know. Uh huh. Transform that okay. sentence to the indirect one. Okay, go ahead. Hey. Um, Adela, did you accept the invitation to the um, Carlitos party? Aha, that is the regular way. Now, tell me the same question, but as a indirect request. Remember that we, the, the thing that we saw yesterday? What we saw yesterday? Okay, so I want yes. you to say that you convert, that you transform that question number mm. four into indirect way. You can say, can you tell me? Yes, they could you, uh -huh. could you. Uh -huh. Adela, could you? Adela, could, could you, did you accept? Could you tell me? Could you tell me? Adela, could you tell me? Accept. If? Yes. Or no if? Adela, could you tell? If. Would you tell me if? Do you remember that we use if, whether? No. Do you remember that? No? ¿Cuál no. crees que podríamos usar? Would you tell me if? Uh-huh. Okay, that's good. Mm. Adele, could you tell me if they accept? If you. Accept? If you accept. No. Yo me confundí. ¿Qué, qué te confundió? <laughs> Toda la oración. <laughs> ¿Por qué? Why? ¿Cuál, cómo, ¿Cómo entiendes tú la oración es, así normal? Es como decir que, que si acepta la invitación para ir a la fiesta de Tony. No, si tú aceptaste. Aceptaste. Did, did you accept? Es did. did you accept? Es did. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Entonces hoy sí. Entonces, entonces hoy sí ya sabes cómo hacer la pregunta, right? Ok. Es um, Adela. Could, no, Adela. Sí, Adela could. Está bien. Could you, if, no. Could you, acuérdese que seríamos could you tell o could you ask. Could you ask. Pero en este caso no sería ask. 
¿Por qué? Ajá, ¿a quién le quiere? Aquí, ve, ve, la, ve la oración. Adela, ¿aceptaste la invitación a la fiesta de Humberto, por ejemplo, o a la fiesta de Tony? Entonces, quiero que hagas esa request, pero de manera indirecta. ¿Cómo lo dirías en español? Dilo en español. Mm, Adela, ¿tú aceptaste la invitación a la fiesta de Carlitos? Tú aceptaste gran cherada, ¿verdad? Come on, respect. <risa> Mira, um, la misma edad va a tratándole igual nombre. You, me podría decir que usted, me podría decir que si usted, ¿se recuerda? Usted I dice, could you, could, you tell, could you tell me if you, ¿sí? ¿se recuerda? Me podría oh, decir okay. si usted, could you tell me if okay. you, uh -huh, accepted, ya no va a usar el did, accepted, tell. accepted, exactly. Okay, Adela, could you tell me accepted the invitation mm -hmm. if you uh -huh. accepted? Very good, exactly. Invitation to the Carlitos party. Carlitos, Humbertos. Ay, Humberto. Again, Deli, otra vez. All over again. You can do it. <laughs> Adela, could you tell me um, if they accepted if. the invitation? If, if accepted. Y no, y ahí a dónde la dejó. If you accepted. Si usted aceptó la invitación. Okay, Adela, could you tell if you Te comiste accepted. otra vez. Ah, dice. <risa> Adela. Adelita está ahí. Adela. Could you tell? <risa> could you tell y me, me if If you yeah, very good. If you if you accepted the invitation to the uh, to the Umberto's party. Very good, excellent. That's my party. Yeah. Oh, do me a favor. Try to ask it, but I see more confidence. Como que quieres saber y me hay bajitos. Ah, like that, right there. Okay. Dale pues. You can do it. Adela, could you tell me if you accepted the invitation to um, Bertus party? Ajá, uh -huh. Adela, answer to party, please. Yes, I did. Oh, can I go with you? <laughs> <laughs> Because I don't want to go with Jose and Carlitos, you know? <laughs> ah, you see? Uh -huh. You see how it works? Okay. I know that you're sweating a lot, Patty. I know, like, yes. ah, and I know that you're going to dream about me tonight. It's difficult. Never, like, no, it's not difficult. It's difficult. No. For me, yes. Come on. No, as long as, <laughs> Patty, what my, my recommendation will be that take a look at the structure of the sentence. And, mm -hmm. and you need to think, okay, this is a statement? No. This is an imperative? No. No. This is a just no question? Maybe. Maybe. Why not? Mm -hmm. Why, yes, because you're using did, remember? The past of do. Yes. Right? Yes. So, ah, okay. so if this is uh, under a, it's just no question, ah, how can I transform it? Do you remember that I sent you a, a little paragraph with mm -hmm. left things and right things? So you can just, depends on what type yes. of sentence it is. So just identify that and you will know how to say it. All that you need to do okay. is a little bit more practice, but that's good. But you know what? You okay. did very good. Excellent. Thank you. you Thank I'm you. so proud of you. Oh, you made me cry. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Adela, it's your turn. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, Adela, you will be number five. Okay. Mm. You can, uh, you, uh, you can ask Nestalí. Yes. Okay. Nectali. Uh -huh. uh, can... No, no uh, read, read a sentence like the way it is, Adela. Number five, like the way it is. Como está? Okay. Read it. Read can it. ask Mario. Uh -uh. Is it's, he, no. It's number five. Mario, are you going to get Tony a gift? Uh -huh. Exactly. That is the okay. sentence. Okay. By now, do me a favor. Instead of Mario, put Neftali. And instead of Tony, put Humberto. Okay. Nectali. It's 
it's you going uh -huh, yes. to give tonic to give a to, to give tonic gift? So, sorry sorry <laughs> is you is you going to give tonic gifts no do it again dilo otra vez tú puedes Nectali. Punto, coma. Are you going to give are you, oh, are you going to give Humberto Humberto a gift? gift? Ajá, ese es el regular way. Hoy transformala en direct question. Mira que es are you going to? It is just no question, yes or no. Yes. Or... Yes, entonces cómo lo vas a hacer? ¿Cómo lo vas a meter a Andre Way así como el shark que les mandé a nosotros ayer? ¿Se recuerdan? Busca, búscalo, búscalo, Adelita. Busca el shark que les mandé. Uno que tiene letras verdes. Can you ask? Could you ask? Could you ask or can you ask? Either or, uh huh. Yes, but I confuse with mm -hmm. could you ask? Uh, I think. Could you ask? Segura que es could you ask? Or could you tell can me? Can you what? ask? Uh huh. Can you ask? Because it is. It's just a no question. Podría ser. Tú chequeale. Bueno. Could you... Can you ask... Eh, Patty. Can you ask Patty... If, if she... If she is... She is... Give, going. Is going, going to give a tonic... Tony Gibbs. Tony, ¿quién era Humberto? Oh, sorry, Humberto Gibbs. Ajá, uh -huh, very good. Ok, Neftali, ask Patty, please. Hey, are you going to give a gift to Humberto? Ok, miss. The same question? No, ask Patty. You have to, ah. you, you have to do what Adela asked you. Tienes que hacer lo que Adela te preguntó. Pregúntale a Patty si le va a mandar un regalo a Humberto. Like that, in, in English. Okay, I understand this. Okay. Patty. Yes. Could you, could you ask? No, could you, no, I, could you tell me if you're going to give a, a gift to Humberto like this? Could you tell me? Could you tell, could you tell me? Uh-huh. If give. Uh-huh. Humberto a gift? Uh-huh. No es, que, no es que quiera hacer, vea, no es eso, Patty. He wants to know. Solo eso es todo. Yes or no, Patty? <laughs> yes, uh -huh. he's a good person. Uh, uh -huh. He give <laughs> uh, only, I don't know what give. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ajá. Uh <-huh>. Ajá. <laughs> Que Big Duncan se convirtió Patty últimamente, right? But no, that's okay. Ah, no. I'm just teasing you. No, no te preocupes, Patty. Estamos bromeando. Very good. Muy bien. Number six. Yes, Carlitos. I, I have a, a doubt. You, when, think, you have a doubt? Yeah. What's the doubt you might have? Um, when you transform the normal sentence to the uh, indirect request. Uh, indirect one, yeah. Okay. Is Nectali, are you going to give Humberto a gig? That is mm -hmm. the, the sentence. Mm -hmm. But uh, are you going in, in the indirect question? Can you ask Patty? Is he's going? Mm -hmm. the, this part is he's going. Is are he's you going, going to transform to his he's going? Mm -hmm. right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Okay. So now tell me I'm going to pick. Anne Marie, please return my cell phone call. Okay. Mm. Helen. <laughs> Ay, qué mala la teacher. Yes. No, Neftali. Espérate. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Espérate un ratito. Okay. Uh, Helen, oh, sorry. please return my phone call. How do you transform that into a direct question? Uh, 
And Mary, can you return my phone call? Very good. Could you return or can you? Very good. Okay. okay. Number seven as well. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Yes, okay. you too. Where is the best place to work? Uh -huh. And could you tell me where uh, where is the best place to work? To work or to park? To park, sorry. Ah, very good. Okay. I'm still thinking in my job. Uh -huh, I know that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Helen. And last but not least, Karen. What about number eight, Karen? Teacher. No, Humberto. No, just kidding. Okay, yes, tell me, Humberto. <laughs> in the case of number seven, uh -huh. this, this example uh, uh, wasn't in the, in the square that you sent yesterday. Yes, it is. No, because this is an example using yes, no question with B. Uh-huh. And, 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 and and what is the, the rule for, for this sentence? Uh, it, it is that you need, you have to put uh, the, the is or art at the end of the sentence. Mm -hmm. This is the rule. This is the rule, exactly. Ah. Mm -hmm, you see. But it was in, 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 the, in the square? Really? Well, it was a dust. I think it was a dust in the shoot, right? Yeah. But you need just to follow that the guidelines and it's because it's WH question, you gotta do it like the same way. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. And Thanks. you're no thank you. Okay, Karen. There you go. I'm sorry, but Umberto interrupt us. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> okay, go ahead. Um Kimberly, I have to return down your invitation to the movies. Okay. Um, Kimberly, please. I didn't do the homework. That's okay. Don't worry. You can do. You can but, give it a try right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I I really don't know how can I uh, do a direct request with this sentence. Uh huh. Because this is not a question. This is a statement, right? Right. So, follow the uh, follow the first one. Let me see. Let me see. You can do it, Karencita. I know, I know. <laughs> I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> give me give me a second. Don't worry, take uh, your time, no rush. We have a thir thirty minutes. So you can do it. <laughs> no, no, um, just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Uh, could you tell uh, Kimberly that that I I have I I have yes I have to return down to return or to turn down uh, sorry <laughs> I have to return down to turn down her, turn down oh I yeah turn down <laughs> mm -hmm. sorry I have to turn down her invitation to the movies. Very good, excellent. You see, you knew it. All that you gotta do is follow the rules. That's it. Okay, Very thank good. you. You're well known, thank you. Okay, guys, was it easy or no at all? No? A little bit complicated, a little bit? A little, so-so, like gorchata, right? <laughs> You know what? But uh, I know maybe because it's, uh, you have the structure here and you got to like do the sentence in your brain. So I know it's a little bit complicated at the first time, but once you follow the rules and you can continue practicing that, it will be a little bit more easy. Okay. But do you like it? Yes. yes. Yeah, right? You think it makes you think. And we practice yes. the writing at the same time we're practicing the speaking. You know why we do these things, guys? Because that will help you, like little by little, not to think in Spanish. You got to think in English. And the only way is to practice that, yeah? You know what? Tell me something. Are you, think, are you still thinking in Spanish when you're trying to transform these sentences into an indirect way? No, all right? No. no. Mm -hmm. No, that's why you need to like train your brain. 
this is one, this is like a heavyweight, you know, the heavyweight. And you know what, we'll continue with heavyweights. <laughs> Do you remember that this week where um, <laughs> I bought the, but they like, no, no, you can, I, you know what? I love her eyes because her eyes are too expressive, you know? <laughs> yeah. And, and also, um, Jose, and also Adela, they just like this, like, just paying attention, like, hey, what's this? I'm paying attention. Like this. <laughs> oh, I, I had doubt because. Yeah, I knew uh, it. Uh huh. Uh, Go ahead. Um, in the sentences when is question, uh -huh. we have a, a made new question. Exactly. But you need to uh -huh. double check that depends on what type of question it is. That you remember that the, with the WH question, if you're using DAS, for example, when you transform it into Android question, you got to take it out of the DAS. And you need to put the main verb into third person, for example. So you need to like take quite a, like details, uh, Delita. So it will be a little bit uh, much easier for you when you transform it, okay? Okay. Would you like me to send you like a, a, another example? Would you like me to explain it to you something right now? I can do it. The, the, everybody will help you, hate you, but that's okay. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like me to give an example right now? Yeah, let me give it to you an example. Okay, hopefully this machine is not working yet. Okay, what is the first example that you have there, guys, with WH questions, right? Can I, this is that, the, um, the doubt that you have, Adelita, with WH questions or with, uh, with just no question? What is the specific doubt that you have? ¿Cuál es la duda específica que tienes? No, in the examples I when I'm okay. Yes. When you use the the question. Uh huh. And, and we make other question. In when the sentences in is no question. Uh mm -hmm. For example, number say. Oh. Uh, Marie, please return my phones. My ah, phone call. Okay, okay, yes. In, in this case, we made a new. Uh, yes. Always is question. Always is a question. For example, for example, in this case, is, uh, Marie, could you please return my phone call? Yes, exactly. Always will be a question. Always will be a question, even though it's a sentence. Okay. Is it okay? Yes? yes? Yes. Okay. That's what I want. Okay, guys. Very good. Now, let me ask you something. Um, how good are you in uh, telling stories? Are you good? Have you told stories? So, did somebody tell uh, stories? Yeah? In Spanish, well, were... maybe. <laughs> no, of course, in Spanish, right? Oh, really? Not really. What about in English? Do you remember with your mom, with your daddy, or when the, your grandma used to tell you stories? Yeah? When yeah. they say, come, baby boy, come, baby girl, oh. hey, what's going on? Hey, you know what? Mm -hmm. you, and you like fall asleep, <laughs> listen to yeah. their stories. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, what about, guys, a... A spooky stories. You know what spooky stories are? No? Oh. Horror? Yes, like, horror? Like, like exactly like Siguanaba, like CPT or like Cadejo, something like that, right? Are you good on telling those type of stories? No. No. <laughs> no, yes, no. Yeah, kind of. Only for my nephew. Only, <laughs> oh my God, you're so mean, Jose. When you said, if you don't go to sleep, the cocoa, yeah, cocoa will come and catch you. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I better go to sleep. You know what? Um, I, well, I don't like, I don't, I'm not a fan of horror movies and horror stories. I just remember once when I was a little girl that my brother, yeah, my oldest brother, uh, put some Freddy Krueger thing on the uh, on the on the computer, 
and also made me watch two episodes. Oh my goodness. No. You know what? Way. For one <laughs> month, I, I was, uh, for one month, every time that I have to go to bed, I always look under my bed. Is Freddy Krueger was there. The first time that I looked into my bed, I saw his face and I was like, it was scary. So you cannot imagine how, how I got a trauma because of that in that last around one month so i said no so from now on i'm not gonna watch this type of things and no i, I don't like it because i remember freddy krueger can you imagine i was four years old and i'm 30 something and i still have his image in my mind so no way but i'm, re I'm really good on, on, on telling another type of stories yes carlitos go ahead what did you do if you find the freddy krueger under your bed I was scream. <laughs> yeah, I was scream definitely. I was, not the first time I saw him, but of course it was my imagination, right? Oh. Of course, yeah. But I got a trauma, so no way. Okay. Yeah, yeah no, 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 no. Oh, because he was really horrible, man. <laughs> no, I didn't like it, and I think that is one of the sweetest horror things because nowadays they are really worse. And to be honest with you, the nun, for example, I don't like it. Annabelle, I don't like those kind of things. No way. But I have a co-worker that they love it. Oosh. But tell me something. Okay, guys, do me a favor. Um, I want to I wanna show you something, a video. Basically, this video is talking about like a spooky story. And then what I want to know, guys, is that you're going to pay attention. Because this time, I'm going to play only one time. And if you want, I will give you an advice. If you want, take a note. Or if you are not good on taking a note, if you trust in your memory, that's fine. Because after you heard and watch that thing, you're, yes, Umberto, you're not going to fall asleep. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you're going to tell me in your own words, what do you remember about the story? So you're going to retell the story, okay? That's what we are going to do right now. So you gotta listen or you gotta listen. You have two choices, which one you prefer? Listen, right? Of course. Okay, so pay attention, guys. Ooh. Let me check what I have here in my mind. There you go. Okay, let me open this really quickly. Yeah, that's the one that I need. <laughs> I like this one. Okay, there you go. Just allow me one minute. Let me share it right now my screen. And uh, we're going to go from there. Guys, can you see my screen? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, so just listen carefully, please. Hey guys, you're not going to believe this. I just heard a story about this campground. What do you mean? What about it? I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She, she was telling her the story, so I listened in. What's so interesting about this old campground? <gasps> It isn't scary, is it? Scary stories freak me out. Don't be such a chicken, Molly. Come on, Ellen, tell us the story. Well, this all took place many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple named Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. So what's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. I'm getting to that. Just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Friendly, sociable, everybody loved them. And they really, really loved each other. Everybody could see it. When they were walking down the street together, they always held hands. When he was working in the fields, he always picked her wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, 
As Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. And was there a fire at the farm? Yes. And as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. But by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Dolly's name over and over, but she didn't answer. She was in the house? She died in the fire? Yes. It was a terrible tragedy. What happened then? Well, the poor man went crazy. He refused to believe that Dolly had died. For months, he searched for her. He walked all day and night through the countryside and through the town, searching, searching. And in his hands, he always carried a bouquet of wild flowers for his poor, dead bride. So how did it turn out? What finally happened to him? That's the spooky part. It's a mystery. People saw him less and less. And then Theodore McShane just disappeared. No one ever saw him again. But the people who live here say he still walks the forest at night looking for his lost bride. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you ladies. I was making my rounds and wanted to see if everything is all right. Yes, a park ranger, of course. Yes, everything's fine. Ellen was telling us a spooky story when you came by. Campfire stories, huh? That's always fun. Well, okay, then. I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for checking on us, and sorry about the screams. Well, that's okay. I'm used to it. Hey, in the morning, you ladies should take a look down that path. There's a field full of wildflowers in there in bloom right now. Very pretty. Oh, that's good to know. We'll do that. Thanks. Here's some for you to enjoy. In case you need anything, I'll be at the ranger station. Thanks again. Oh, what's your name? I'm Ted. Theodore, really. But my friends call me Ted. Ted McShane. You have a good night. <laughs> okay, guys, what do you think about the story? Come here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, well, who can Our tell comment. me your own words? What was the story about? Okay, Karen, thank you so much. Go ahead, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, hey, look at her eyes like, what? <laughs> okay, we, we need, you need to retell the story. What was the story about? In your own words, you don't have to say everything, right? Just what you remember. Um, uh, I remember that they were in a campground. Mm -hmm. Campshire, yeah. And someone, one on, of those girls uh, was uh, was washing her teeth mm -hmm. when she heard about uh, heard a, a, a woman with her daughter talking about a story, a spooky story, I don't know. Exactly. Very good. Okay, stay there. Stay there. Continue with the with the with the idea of the story, uh, Jose. And then what happens? Okay. Uh, then uh, uh, she t says that uh, yeah, uh -huh. it's a a pareja. I, I don't know. Okay, no, wait. She, a, a Karen left a, the story that uh, one of the girls uh, was uh, washing her teeth on the bathroom when he heard about um, a pookie story, right? So, what happened story. after that? Continue. 
Yeah, the the she heard that was a, mm -hmm. a, a man in a girl. Yeah, a couple, a couple. <laughs> a couple that uh, he loves uh -huh. between between days. Uh huh. <laughs> and uh, and he uh, and and they was very sociable. And people love him. Low day. Okay, very yeah. good. Stay there. Okay. Carlitos, where the couple lived? Um, they got a tragedy. Yeah, yeah. But what happened? Where do they live? Do they live in a camp? Do they live in a farm? Where uh, do they, they live? They uh, live in a farm. They live in a farm. They love each other, right? Like Jose said. Mm -hmm. uh, every time that he returned back to the to the farm, what he brought with him? What he brought with him? Um, I, I don't know the, the name. Bouquet? Bouquet? Bouquet of, the Bouquet flower. of flowers. Very good. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. To whom? A quien? To whom? Uh, to, to, for, to the girl. To the girl, to, to the, his wife. Uh-huh. Very good. But something happens when he... Um, uh, one of the days that he went back to the field. Okay, stay there, uh, Carlitos. What happened, Humberto? Continue. You see, everybody's oh. telling part of the story. When then then the, when the story. Uh, so one day, uh, people saw uh, a fire mm -hmm. in the house, and uh, a lot of scream, mm -hmm. and that is that uh, his wife. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's born. Got born? Yeah. Uh -huh, continue. And, <laughs> and besides that, uh, uh, the husband uh, was very, very sad because he lost his wife. Uh huh. He screamed. So, <laughs> yeah. And, uh -huh. and he walked around the city and people saw that that he 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 brings some flowers okay. always all the time exactly but exactly and he did that for many many times right but guys what happened with uh, with Ted or Theodore that was the name of the other guy what happened with him that everybody knows disappear he disappeared disappear exactly uh-huh so in in uh when she like uh well supposedly the girl was finishing the story what happened then wendy wendy, wendy. Hi, teacher. yes okay so what happened after uh -huh. she finished the story what happened who appears in the story um uh, the Appears, Tommy. A man, a exactly. Ted. A Ted, okay. exactly. What was the name of the man, guys? Ted. Ted. Ted is a, is a is a nickname of Theodore, right? And what he was carrying with him? A flower. I will kill flowers. And what did he do with his with that bouquet of flowers? He brings to the a girl. To one of the girl. Okay. Okay, and then he said bye bye, right? He will continue with the round. But uh, and what happened after that? What happened with the girls? The girls screaming. The girls are screaming. At the, at the first time, they said, "Oh, he was really nice, guy." Blah blah blah. When, but when they, when everybody like got together, all the pieces of the story, they scream. Why, guys? Why anything? Why they scream? They realized that it was. <laughs> Maybe it was. It was the, the man for the, the, the story, right? Yeah, very good. Okay, guys, very good job. Hey, but do me a favor. Do you, you, it's easy to retell a story? All right. It's not easy. And why are we are making this uh, kind of uh, exercises, guys? Because one of the, um, I don't know, TOEFL parts, the speaking parts, it is like that, but with a hardest part, with the hardest topic, yeah? It's not as simple as a story. 
Uh, so if you get used to that, uh, you will be able to express yourself. In that part, what we, what we check is how much vocabulary you have and uh, how fluently you are. So doing uh, exams or exercises like this, it will help you a lot, okay? Because you, not, you need to improvise and you need to like uh, tell in your own words what you have remember. It's easy, guys, when you watch a video, but it's harder when you read an article about anything. And you got to remember the information, especially if it's uh, with the words that you hardly know. Like, for example, if you're not a lawyer, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know some vocabulary. If you're not an engineer, you will know a lot of vocabulary, right? But you have to understand, and then after that, you got to express it in your own words. So that is the hardest part. So that's why we did this kind of exercises, telling stories. And you know what? It did excellent job. I'm so proud of you. Very good job, guys. Very good job. Was it easy? Did you like it? Yes, I yes. like it. And it's uh, a little easy, more than the, uh, the theme anterior. <laughs> well, with the previous oh. topic. <laughs> I know, yes. I know, I know. Yeah, sometimes they don't love grammar, right? <laughs> but you know what? That helps you a lot, Josecito, because um, when you're telling stories, you got to use the Andrek way as well. Yes. Yes, no. so, so that's you. why we're doing this. Because as long as you know the structure, as long as you know how to say things in the third way, or for example, direct speech, remember, and indirect speech, that will help you a lot when you're telling something or when you're uh, saying something. So that's why it's really, really important. So you see, everything got connection. I know the teacher is a little bit crazy sometimes, but uh, it, it is for, for a reason. Okay, guys, you know what? Time is over. Can you imagine? One hour passed really, really fast. Look at Umberto's face. Like. But at the same time, he's happy. <laughs> 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 now, it will be time for you to go and, um, and have a dinner, Umberto, or I don't know, eat something, right, guys? Or just watch a movie or relax. Hey, guys, I will send you a link for a movie that I would like you to watch. Okay. But please put in practice everything okay. that I sent it to you. Because I sent it to you for a reason. Okay. Do it. Because that will help you a lot. Hey, I sent you guys a video about a booking reservation, right? Did you see it? Yes. Did you see it? Yes. Did you watch it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, I'm thinking for Helen and for Maria Colindes will be really helpful because they work in that environment. But you know what? I will find something related to each of your specialization, right? I will find something for lawyers, something for economists, something for accounting, for a teacher, and also for something for sales and engineer, Jose. Okay? I will find something. So that will help you a lot. I, Adela, I found one, um, one information that will help you a lot. And I found a, um, a lot of vocabulary related to accounting things. Okay. It's in English. So I will send it to you. Okay. It's for you to have Thank it for you. future reference. Okay. Very okay. good. Guys, so it was nice to have you one more time in this class. Tomorrow we're not going to have classes. Okay. So don't worry. You got free Friday. So, yes, exactly. It's a long weekend, right? Okay. Okay, guys, be safe. Uh, put practice and um, have a really, really great weekend. Yeah, and please take care of yourself because I want to see you on Monday, okay? Okay, okay. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye, bye. 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 everybody.